Okay, folks, well, this past series, we've been doing a whole lot of talking about goals. But one of the things that's not ever come about is what are my goals? Because, um, you know, depending on who you talk to, uh, the telling people your goals can be a good thing, can be a bad thing. A lot of people think that uh, there's actually a line of thinking that if you state your goal, your brain's going to uh, register that, uh, oh, it's already completed and I don't need to worry about it no more. But at the same time, I'd like to be able to motivate people to enough to see, hey, this, this bozo here is trying to do something that's a little, little on the wacky side. Squirrel. He waited long enough. He was like, I'm not going to run for it. He's a fat thing, too. Holy smokes at the fat old squirrel. <laughs> so, anyhow, all right, all right, anyhow. Uh, now that I actually had my squirrel moment. Um, so, anyhow, <laughs> I want to show you that you can have, uh, have a good goal. You can make goals that are small and, and, and might seem insignificant to other people. Um, and, but then you may also have a goal that uh, is a, a bag goal, which is B-H-A-G, which means stands for Big Hairy Audacious Goal. And if you've got those types of goals, awesome, man. You want to have a Big Hairy Audacious Goal along with having a goal that uh, you might actually be able to achieve if you just put a little bit of effort into it. So that's what we're going to talk about today. What are my goals? And actually, how you can help me and we both together can achieve our goals, all right? Okay, so goals we've talked about them we've planned them we've we've tweaked them we've we've massaged shaped we've uh we've had scenes from ghost with it it's just it's it's become a horrible mess <laughs> well not a mess but you know what i'm saying but anyhow so we've gotten ourselves we've spent late nights trying to figure out what our goals are we've made up plans and how are we going to get these goals so what are my goals well, my goals kind of fit in together. I've actually got, if I was to talk about it, if I was look at them all together, and I'm looking at them right here on, on the phone, uh, because trying to sit there with a piece of paper flapping around would have been just a big pain in the butt. Because we have a little bit of a gentle breeze, just cool enough to where it's like, whew, it's still winter. Uh, but um, everything flows together. All right, my big, hairy, audacious goal, I want to start with it is I want to make $50,000 off of Relaxed Mail. Be or not off of, but because of Relaxed Mail. That would be a better way to phrase that. Um, and all my other goals lead up to, or the majority of all those other goals, lead up to that $550,000 uh, 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 goal. So, Real quick, let's talk about, uh, let's talk, I'll mention the goals, and then from there we'll, uh, uh, I'll kind of break it down as to how I got to each of those goals. Um, I'm want to make $50,000 off of relaxed mail, but also want to make $5,000, $500, and $50 off of relaxed mail. Now you're going, well, that's kind of cheating. Well, but it's those are goal those are steps those are milestones so i've got a 500 dollar i've got a 50 dollar if i can make 50 dollars off my site from whatever i can actually scale that up and make 500 dollars now once i have the 500 dollars taken care of i can scale that up to make the 5000 and the 5000 well i'll just have, there's a couple more chunks of of mindset in there that i have to break through but i can get to the 50000 dollars all that is very attainable. I just have to make sure that I focus in and get that taken care of. Now, while I make the $50,000 one, honestly, I'm not 100% sure I can. I want to, but I don't know if I can. So that's my, that's my big, hairy, audacious goal. Now, the others is I want to make, I want to have 100 people visit my site 
each day. And yeah, you're going, you're what, what? You don't have 100 people? It's like, no, actually I don't. I get on the average of, on the days that I release my blog posts, I get about 25, 20 to 25 people. Um, and that's if I actually am religious on posting my three times a week. Um, there's been a couple times where if I stop, say uh, work gets in the way and I am just whatever, for whatever reason, I cannot post, get a post out at all for that week. Guess what? My, my uh, visitors drop down to one, maybe none a day. It's, that's how fragile I have to have this post. I have to get more people in. Um, so I have to work on figuring out how to get 100 people to my site. Once I get 100 people to, a day to my site, then it's going to become a lot easier for that $50 a day, or fifty make $50 on off my site, which then, again, goes to the 500, the 5,000, the 50,000. So you see how the, all, all that ties together. Now, to get people to my site, I have to have content. Now, there's a couple different ways that I want to make content that should draw more people in. Because, yeah, I'm talking about mindset, I'm talking about uh, self-improvement, but I'm also wanting to do all this with under the, uh, the umbrella of being outdoors. Uh, getting out here, out in the sun, getting fresh air, um, and, and getting a little bit of blood flowing and all that, you, these are things that need to be need to be done for a guy to be happy and healthy uh, and well balanced. So one of the ways that I want to be able to make sure I get draw people in is also through reviews. Uh, my two largest uh, uh, page or most visited pages is uh, my Wenzel. Uh, seven person tent, the Blue Ridge, and then also I have uh, my uh, my hydration pack uh, that I that I did a review for. Both of those are doing pretty well. I get maybe a view or two every uh, oh about every couple weeks or so. I, someone will come in and, and look at it. Not a lot right now, but I'm wanting to ramp that up. So to do that, I need to be able to go to a couple camping expos. Now, why do I want to go to a camping expo? That is because at camping expos, I will see, uh, I should be able to come across uh, people on the sales team. That's who, do, who goes to the expos. It's not people on marketing, it's the people in the sales team. Um, or people, or correction, scratch that, reverse it. There are people on the marketing team who go to the uh, go to the expos, uh, and they set people up so that they go are funneled over into the sales team. I can talk to the sales team and be able to get have a better chance of getting a relationship built so that I might be able to get more tents coming in or more outdoor equipment coming in so that I can actually make more reviews and more and make which in turn is more content for more people to come in then um, another item that I want to uh, goal that I want to make is I actually want to uh, actually actually camp which is sad I have a guy who's outdoors and la this last summer I didn't get to go camping one ah you're exactly it's one of those one of the aggravations that uh, beyond aggravations how could I have let all summer go and I didn't uh, I didn't get uh, outdoors once well that's going to be fixed this next year I'm going to camp at least six times if not more um, but also I want to be able to do, start doing trail reviews because I do like to walk I like to hike I like to get out and, and get the blood flowing as I always say to be able to do that, I like to be able to also go out to some of the local uh, hiking trails, and there are a few out here in the western Oklahoma area. There's a few out in the uh, in the western Oklahoma area. There's the Black Kettle uh, Grasslands area. They've got some hiking trails there. There's uh, uh, Red Rock, Naroma Nose. There's a couple of other canyons and and state parks around that have got hiking trails or walking trails on them. And so I'd like to get, get start going through and start making a review of those to help people to in this area and eventually maybe I'll be able to get out to other areas that so that I'm able to uh, again make content that'll draw people in which will allow for um, 
advertisers to be able to uh, to advertise and to them. Uh, the reviews have affiliate sales and all this together ties together so that I get I can actually make money off of black smell. So and all I want to do at the first the first goal that I want is that fifty dollars. That fifty dollars leads up to the uh, five thousand or uh, fifty thousand. Now another uh, another one of my goals is um, is to uh, actually do a re product reviews. I want to do twelve of them. These twelve product reviews is a low number so that I don't have to, uh, I don't have to panic about going oh crap I've got to get this done I got to get this done. I have enough time. I've got a month to be able to. Uh, do the videos, do the shoot the videos, shoot, uh, write all the everything out. I've got a couple weeks to sit there and play with whatever it, whatever product it is, so that I can figure out, hey, this is a really good item, or this is, you know, this is an okay item, or this is something that you really, really, really want. Or for me, it might just be, hey, this is just so cool. I'm just, I haven't been able to put it down for the past four weeks. Um, so I want to be, I, that again is another form of content being. Uh, these product reviews and I'm these I'm not just doing any product reviews I want to make sure that they're camping oriented outdoor oriented um, I'm not going to be able to do anything like a, a gun review or anything like that because well I just I don't have uh, I don't have access to guns and I'm not that well known I don't know any gun manufacturers that are going hey try our gun out but you know eventually I'd like to be able to get to bows uh, I've I started to uh, develop an interest in uh, traditional bow hunting and to be able to uh, to do that, I would, I'm going to eventually have to have a bow. Uh, so, for uh, for the outdoors, and there's other things with uh, with relax mail that will progress once I can start uh, making enough money to be able to uh, to hit some of these larger, more audacious goals that I have in mind. So, I want to be able to take my uh, Take my 12 product reviews, take my four hiking reviews, hiking trail reviews, um, and combine all those together to help bring in, start to kind of generate the income and have the uh, have the content so that people start coming so I can hit my 100 people a day. Goal that I am wanting to make is actually, I want to attend at least one conference and it's a business conference so that as I, I know, I need help with the mindset of a business because I'm running into too many problems of just some type of wall. Just bam, stop, um, just come to a full stop. I may be doing real good, real good, real good. Oh, nothing happened. Um, and that needs to be changed. I need to fix that. And to be able to do that, I'm actually going to need to start going uh, investing in myself. And so I'm needing to spend a good chunk of money to be able to attend a conference. Now there's several conferences out there that I want to attend. There's, um, and, and workshops actually also. Uh, there's one on uh, uh, coaching mastery done by Dan Miller. Love to be able to do that. That's a $4,800 uh, uh, course though. So again, if I can get the 5,000 up to the $5,000 uh, mark, hey, congratulations. I happen to have enough money to be able to do uh, my, uh, to do the, uh, the coaching mastery course. There's also a conference that I'd like to attend that's done by a guy named Cliff Ravenscraft and he's uh, called uh, uh, Free the Dream Conference and that is a complete total mindset shift. He helps you helps direct you into a change of the mind, uh, mindsets so that when you're doing something and you're ex uh, wanting to achieve a goal, you've got an idea on how to reach that goal and he helps you um, helps you through uh, on a three-day uh, three-day course a three-day set of talks to be able to achieve and understand what you need to do to be able to get uh, to live the dream that you want to live so we've got that um, another goal that I have is that I want to be able to um, get my fence fixed uh, if you've not ever seen my fence uh, it's a good thing because the thing is 10 years old and we went uh, with a very inexpensive means of, of, uh, of fencing material or just it was utility grade um, and uh, 
it's showing its age. We winds are blowing uh, panels down. We're snapping uh, utility poles, uh, the the uh, uh, the the landscaping poles that we were using, um, and so need to get all that changed out and put up a stronger type of, of fence. And actually, I've we've got a plan. Just again, that would be some uh, money that I would like to be able to do, and that has nothing to do business-wise. That is just a personal uh, wise, a personal means uh, of a goal that I would like to do. And then, then the other one is uh, the last goal is I want to be able to take, and I'm going to take 10% um, of everything I make, and it's going to get put into savings. So the day job that I have right now, I get paid two hundred dollars. All right, well, then 10% of that is getting put into savings. And then at the end of uh, the year, take uh, take the, that savings and turn roll it over into some type of retirement. I have to start doing that because I am not, and I'm not getting any younger, as you can plainly see. I've got a lot of gray. <laughs> Actually, no, or correction, not gray, it's blonde. I've got a lot of blonde in my in my in on my face. So, anyhow. So there you go. Those are my goals. Now, how can you help me with this? Um, there's a couple different ways. You can help to hold me accountable. And uh, to do that is not all that hard. I would like to actually set up a mastermind of about five, six people who also want to have a, uh, have, a, uh, have a set of goals that they want to achieve. And they want some people to stand around them and make sure uh, and hold them accountable for for their actions um, and develop a, a set of friendship because uh, that's one thing uh, about uh, one item about uh, masterminds that is uh, quite powerful is that everybody becomes starts to develop a good strong family bond um, and really we need that you got us guys need more friends yes we need to have about a good five number a number of uh, Five number of friends, to, uh, that makes no sense. Uh, about five friends who we can trust, we can go to and go, dude, I am struggling with something. Would you talk, would you listen? And have that guy go, yeah, sure, man, I can help you out. We can and be able to talk that out. You need about, you need a five, uh, about five really, really good friends, best friends. Um, and then you need several that are uh, more that are, are close. You need more friends than what most of us actually have. For me, I've, I've, uh, when it comes to good close friends, I really don't have <laughs> uh, someone who is I would consider being really, really close. But I know of people who I could pretty much trust if I wanted to talk. But there's that just that little extra level that needs I would need to go through. So anyhow, so if you want to be in my mastermind, um, down below in the uh, description there is a link to a for mastermind form just fill the form out i'll get a hold of you uh via email uh, uh sometime in the very in the near future um so that we can actually uh start helping each other out so if you're interested in that great thank you if not i'm all right well i appreciate you uh standing through this long uh spiel of me yabbering and uh We'll catch you on next week. Now, if you are new to this thing and you're going, holy smokes, this guy's talking about all sorts of stuff that's kind of cool, click that subscribe button down below. Please, I really need some people to subscribe. My uh, I, And uh, if you would like to be told, hey, he's got a new one out, then hit the, uh, the bell icon that's right next to the subscribe. And uh, it would do me a, a huge, uh, huge solid. And it gives me a chance to actually get to know you too. So anyhow, folks, thank you again for uh, watching and we will catch you next week. Bye.